Am I the asshole for not letting my parents stay with my kids for long periods of time because of my brother? I 27F have a sister 26F and a brother 15M who is autistic. When he was two he was diagnosed with autism. From that moment on he was my parents' absolute priority. While I get it now, 14 years old me did not. It was like I woke up one day and my parents became very different people. Lots of money were spent on various types of therapy, lots of time were dedicated solely to him, lots of special occasions for me and my sister became second thoughts to my parents. They were not terrible parents but a lot of the things they did before like having meals with us every night, picking us from school became our nanny's responsibilities as my parents were focused on my brother. I resented my brother first and with time my parents. The one positive thing was me and my sister becoming best friends. I left for college when I was 18 and my sister left for the same college the year after. We lived together the whole time. Neither of us really missed home because who misses feeling like a second thought? We only went home for the holidays. In the summers we did car trips and had a blast. When I was 21 I met my now husband. The three of us, me, sis and him, became super close. After that he joined our summer trips. We got married two year later and had twins the following year. The kids are now three. We stopped the trips after the twins were born but after their first birthday we decided to go on three weeks vacations annually. When they grow up we will make sure to adjust the trips so they can join us. Right after my sister finished college I got a job near our hometown. My sister had no reason to stay where we were so she moved back with us. My husband's parents live close, just two hours away and my parents and my brother still live in our old house 15 minutes away. For the first two trips after the twins were born we left them with my Mill and Phil. They are amazing grandparents. Well, this year it clicked to my parents that my girls were obviously not going with us on the trips. They asked who had watched the twins the first two times and I explained that my Mill and Phil had. They asked to keep them this year and I said no, but thanks for the offer, we appreciate it. They wanted to know why my Mill and Phil could have them for long periods of time but they couldn't. I was honest. Said that I do trust them to babysit for short periods as I know they would never neglect the girls in those few hours. But I don't want they to have them for three weeks. They need a lot of attention. And so does my brother. And while I don't think they would do anything on purpose I'm afraid they will end up too focused on my brother and temporarily forget the twins need their attention as well. They accused me of hating my brother, I don't, and said that I was a horrible sister. They said I was punishing them for caring for my brother and preventing them from bonding with my girls. My sister and husband agree with me, though. But I fear they are just too close to the situation to judge. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Your parents did what they thought was best for their children. You get to do what you think is best for your children. NTA, you have valid and sensible reasons. Your parents are emotional but to not have noticed for two years your girls were not with you and were obviously somewhere, to me just shows what you've said. They are preoccupied with your bro and just unaware. Not a bad thing, but a truth. A truth that you've accepted and you live your life with that knowledge. They can visit your girls over the trip time but I agree it is a huge thing to watch twin toddlers for longer than a day lol god bless your in-laws and have a safe and awesome trip. Info, have you ever had a like, real conversation with them about your feelings? Are you scared for the well-being of your kids or just that they won't receive the level of attention you think one needs for like, a full childhood? I ask cause three weeks ain't gonna break your kids unless a big ol' abusive. And hash x200b. Not the asshole after reply. Not the asshole. This is not even up to discussion because even if they were the most loving parents, if you choose that your kids are going to stay with you in laws it must be respected and not questioned. Having said that, I think your parents haven't realized or are in denial that sadly they both failed both you and your sister. It was not because they are bad people, or had ill intentions, but it is the reality. Is there any investigation about neurotypical brothers of neurodiverse children and neglection? I think this is a recurrent phenomena that should be talked more about. Not the asshole. You didn't, blow up. You didn't, rage. You respond lead politely and truthfully. You know that you parents focus on your brother because you lived it. Would they neglect your children? Probably not but would your children get the same level of attention and interaction as they would with Mill and Phil? No. 
It's logical. If this were a daycare program rather than family members then you wouldn't be feeling bad. Not the asshole you are the parents you get to make the choice who watches the kids. Not the asshole. I imagine it must be hard for your parents to hear how ignored you and your sister felt. Can't blame you for wanting your own children to avoid feeling like an afterthought. Not the asshole. Not letting your parents keep your children for a long amount of time equating to you hating your brother is quite a reach. They're just trying to guilt trip you. It's projection. Not the asshole. You mentioned a nanny so it sounds like they could have had some more help with your brother and dedicated more time to you and your sister than they did. I've never been through it so I'll try not to judge your parents too harshly for that. I am sure they thought they were doing the best they could. But based on your experience with them they should understand where you're coming from. Do you know if your brother's needs are as strong as they were when he was young? Forgive me for not knowing the proper terms as I've read that high and low functioning are offensive so I don't know how to put it. If they aren't as strong maybe you could let them spend one night with them every now and then if you're comfortable enough to. Honestly the fact it took them this long to notice kinda makes your point. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Look at it as an third party observer. One person delivered a reasonable statement. Their reaction was not to explain on how they planned on taking care of the twins despite the high needs brother. First reaction was guilt tripping. They demonstrably failed to make a case for themselves and against your intuition. Not the asshole. I am autistic and I was neglected. They had the means to actually support him without neglecting you and made a choice. The feelings are valid. You aren't doijg this because of his autism but they proved to you they're not capable. I am sorry you went through that neglect. That sort of abuse is hard because it isn't visible but it is abuse. You're absolutely doing the right thing for your children and that's commendable. Not the asshole it sounds like you were respectful but firm, well done. And I understand your reasoning that it would be too much. It frustrates me when people question legitimate childcare choices like this. You are the parents and you know who should care for your children. Nah, I get their feelings and I get your feelings too. Ultimately you get to decide who your children are cared for by so don't feel guilty. That said I don't think your parents past neglecting of you and your sister, who were older, will mean they will neglect two children. Not the asshole. You're watching out for your daughters and doing what's best for them. Just as your parents did do for your brother. Let's hit the real point here. Three week vacations. Where the f do you guys work? And how do I get a job there? Not the asshole they just don't want to see their mistakes. Not the asshole. But I fear they are just too close to the situation to judge. No they're not, especially not your sister. She knows, just like you, how it feels to be neglected in favor of another person. And she doesn't want the same happen to her nieces, nephews. And while you and your sister could maybe understand it a little given your ages then, your children are way too young to understand. They accused me of hating my brother, I don't, and said that I was a horrible sister. They said I was punishing them for caring for my brother and preventing them from bonding with my girls. They make it all about your brother and themselves, don't acknowledge they did you and your sister wrong. Having a child with autism is tough, but no excuse to neglect your other children. The best predictor of future actions is past behavior. Your parents have been immersed for 15 years in your brother's life. He is their center and your girls aren't going to change that. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's not a matter of trust. They just don't have time, and probably energy, to invest in taking care of two small children. Not the asshole. You are prioritizing the needs of your children the way your parents did what they thought was best for your brother. Not the asshole. They focused on your brother so much you didn't even miss home when you left. Why would you even have reason to think they would treat your kids any different? I can't blame them for focusing on your brother, but at the same time, they didn't have just one kid, so they should just accept your decision and that's it. Not the asshole. Your parents proved they are incapable of taking care of your brother and anyone else. Some people can do this. Your parents cannot. I'm sorry they made you feel less important, and I'm so glad you drew the most from a bad situation. You and your sister epitomize sisterhood. Not the asshole. They are blaming you because they can't blame themselves. They did wrong and managed really bad the whole situation. But they are never going to see it because if they see it, 
they have to admit that they were bad parents for you and your sister and they neglected you in order to take care of your brother. This is not gonna happen and, if they can't admit it, you can be sure they are going to make the same mistakes with your twins. They don't have any right to be angry and upset. You have this right and you are trying to protect your family. They are the asshole here. Not the asshole. They are upset and declaring their innocence because deep down underneath they know you are right. Not the asshole they could give two teenagers enough attention when caring for your brother, why do they think they will be able to pay attention to two toddlers? They require so much more. Not the asshole. Your parents still haven't realized how their choices have affected you, so in their mind the only solution is that you hate your brother. They did what they had to do for their children, and sometimes that includes making hard choices. And yeah, sometimes those choices suck and negatively affect another member of the household. But that's life. You communicate, be open, and forgive so you can move on. Your parents have to eventually get there with the situation, or they will just never be able to understand, because you are doing exactly what they did, what is best for your children. Not the asshole. You were very polite AMD your concerns are completely valid. Someone just have to be the priority. When the kids are with their other grandparents it's them. But if they'd be with your parents they wouldn't be. It is not bad thing but it's better for them to be with someone that you know will give them all their focus and attention. Saying that it's because you hate your brother etc is just guilt tripping. I assume you wouldn't have problem with them visiting your kids or taking care of them for a day or two. But three weeks is a really long time and the people that are taking care of them needs to act like parents. Not the asshole. You made a decision based on the best care for your children. Your parents' feelings about this are not the issue. Your parents are being emotionally manipulative. For what it's worth, I think three weeks away from your three-year-olds is a very long time, maybe too long. A lot of little kids get very stressed out by being away from their parents this long. Not the asshole. You were neglected as a kid and it is your duty as a parent to avoid that being done to your children. Also, make sure that your parents have no intent of putting your brother in your care later. Not the asshole you need to make sure your kids are being watched properly and it sounds like you parents never figured out how to split their attention between all their kids so why would you trust that they would do better with your children? I absolutely love that you and your sister became so tight. Nah. The parents are hurt and probably wish they could be doting grandparents like the in-laws. Their life is a tough one but Op is absolutely doing the right thing. Please Op read Running on Empty, Overcoming Childhood Emotional Neglect then give it to your sister to read. Having an ill sibling is a source of childhood trauma. Info. How severe is your brother's autism? Is he able to function on his own? Can he speak? Can he get himself a snack? Is he violent? Not the asshole. You now understand what your parents were doing for your brother. There is nothing wrong with you needing to take care of your daughters. One three-year-old would be handful. Two three-year-olds can become overwhelming. Add in a 15-year-old autistic child who needs constant attention and your concerns are valid. Autistic children tend to dislike changes to their routines. Three-year-olds tend to be demanding and require our amounts of attention. It is possible that your brother could become upset with having the three-year-olds around for a full three weeks. That would disrupt his routine and could cause issues. You are right to err on the side of caution and protecting your children. Not the asshole. They prove to you that they cannot look after their son along with other kids. They are your children and if you don't feel comfortable you don't have to allow them to babysit for extended periods of time. It is so awesome how close you are your sister or even as adults. You are lucky to have each other. I'm sorry your parents are treating you like this now and calling you a terrible sister to your brother. He is still clearly their main priority and always will be. You AD sis have gotten through your childhood together and still going strong. It's great that her and your hubby get along. You do what's best for your family. Your children are your main concern. I'm sorry your parents don't get that. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You have experienced firsthand and know better. I spent a lot of time alone with my paternal grandmother. I never spent time without my parents with my maternal grandmother, who was a good person nonetheless. It was never said why, but I'm pretty sure my mom had her reasons. She knew better as she was the one raised by that woman. Absolutely not the asshole. You are doing what is best for your children and explained it very reasonably. 
You can't leave them for three weeks somewhere where they won't be the priority. Not the asshole. You have valid concerns about how your kids would be treated in their care. I would also be concerned about how your brother would handle being around toddlers for a long period of time if he's been the only KUD for a long time. I'm just jealous that you can go on three-week vacations every year with no kids law. Not the asshole you don't stop your parents from seeing the kids. You just don't want to burden them long term. If your brother cannot live independently you might want to talk to your parents about what happens after they die because they might assume he will live with you. Not the asshole. My youngest is on the autism spectrum. Moderate to severe. His therapies take place during the time that the oldest is in school. He's in pre-K, again while the oldest is in school. His needs don't take away my attention from my oldest. I hate parents who feel like they have to put the needs of one child above the others. Your twins are only three years old. They need protection, supervision and care from an adult. Your children are weakest part in this discussion. Don't let you guilt in letting them stay with your parents. Not the asshole and this is totally unrelated just out of curiosity, but I am wondering what will happen to your brother when your parents ultimately pass. It sounds like he must have a low-functioning form of autism if your parents are this involved. In my uncle's family, they also have three kids, the youngest now early 30s, is schizophrenic and likely also has some form of autism. I can only imagine how similar their situation was to you and your sister. They have it planned out for their oldest daughter to care for her sister eventually and I'm not sure how it'll work out. I feel bad for everyone in this story. I imagine your parents did the best they could with a very difficult situation. One that hopefully you or I will never have to be in. They said I was punishing them for caring for my brother and preventing them from bonding with my girls. They didn't bond with you and your sister because they prioritized brother and expected you to be able to just understand at 14 plus. They don't get to claim that when they more or less severed the bond with two of their own children. You're simply worried they will do the same to your children because this line right here clearly shows they will. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your primary responsibility as a parent is to ensure the safety and well-being of your kids. Your decision to trust Mill, Phil to do that, especially given that they don't have to also watch a high-needs individual that they favor, care for to the exclusion of others, reflects that priority. I'm sure you'd welcome your parents to visit you in your home to see the children. Info. How much time does your parents spend with the girls, both with you or alone for short times? How how else is a three-week bonding time crucial when they live so close and can visit any time? I understand how your in-laws actually get bonding time out of this annual long visit but unless your parent haven't even cared the last three years, why suddenly demand granny privileges?